Good afternoon and welcome to the Indian National Pool Championships of 2023. We're at the semi-final stage in the male juniors competition. And our first semi-final is between Mayal Garg and Gaurav Chabra. It's a race to seven. We're playing WPA nine ball rules. One is on the spot, it's alternate break. No three point rule, but they do have to hit a rail with four balls. And we're ready for the lag, guys. Here we go. Semi-final number one. Both players leaping out of their chairs, itching to get at the table. Here comes the lag. Oh, good lag by both players, but it's going to be Garav with the break. Earlier on, we saw Natasha Chetan book her place in the final against Sanvi Shah. That'll be coming up for you a little bit later. So we have this semi-final, one more male semi-final, and then the two finals. Lots to come. It's all free on YouTube, on the Apex Sports Promotion channel. And any information you'd like on the event, go to IndianPoolNationals.com. So a nice early win for Gaurav there, making an early nine. Yeah, my apologies, Mayor Garg takes the opening rack. My apologies, I'm getting all excited. I get all excited with an early nine. And he will be breaking. In the second rack. And he's actually using an unfamiliar cue to himself, both snooker players. And he's using one of the house pool cues. And none of these players have a break cue, of course. It's all new to them. You just play with the same cue in snooker, don't you? There you see, being removed, is the brand new, newly released Talm rack. It's called the Max rack. So a push out called. Yeah, a lot of the players aren't familiar with the push-out rule. No such thing in snooker. So after a push-out, you are allowed to hit any ball you like. You don't have to hit a rail, but your opponent, if he doesn't like what you've left, can give it back to you. He's played a really decent shot there. Good safety. This is a little bit awkward. This is, oh, this is very awkward. Needs to go just before the side pocket. Yeah, exactly, about there. Has to be careful of the three, though. He wants to go a bit higher than that, I think. Yeah, he's caught the three. Needs to go about another three or four inches nearer to himself. Three ball a little bit tied up. So this one ball up for the two, and then somehow he needs to get on that red three. So straight forward draw, straight up the table by the looks of it. 
little flick off the two. Oh, nice. He's okay. Might need the rest, maybe. Oh, he can just about reach it. Straight back down the table, move the three. trying there. Got awful close to that nine ball. Very nice shot. Send the three ball up by the four. Cue ball over behind the nine. Five. It's a fast paced match, isn't it? They're not taking much time over their shots. shot he's tried there, dragging it full length of the table. Gone for distance, that's okay. Oh, I would love to have missed that five ball now how's he feeling good safety Touche. Might make the four here. Oh no. shot using the route good angle on this four ball now just to run the cue ball back down the center of the table for the four in uh, sorry the five into this bottom right still a bit of work to do a lot of English, played it well, lots of left hand spin on the cue ball. Had a nice early combo in the first rack, he's having to work a bit harder though for this second rack. Beautiful shot, really nicely timed. Nicely on the nine ball, and this for a two rack lead in the race to seven in the first semi final of the men's Indian National Pool Championships 2023 junior section under 21s.
those erect. Gaurav Chabra. Breaking off. Oh, he has a break cue, look. Scratched in the side on his first break. He scratched in the corner on this one. So maybe needs to pay a bit more attention to the accuracy of the break rather than trying to get too much power. Two ball does go in the side, I believe, past the six. thought didn't he? He's ended up a little bit awkward over here but at least the three is in close proximity to the cue ball. No problem. Key shot coming up. slightly thicker bump. It's okay though, it does cut in the side this. Cue ball naturally coming round for the six. Deciding discretion is the better part of Vela. Second time he's been in that side pocket. Three scratches in all. And we've only had two racks. That's a poor shot. Very well short of the intended target. Just a little bit careless there. Good recovery shot though, terrific shot. shot on the eight ball so just a slightly awkward nine for a three rack lead it's there great shots cue balls there as well though wow what a gift this is four scratches we've had in two racks. This is our third rack. Bit of a, a gift there. Let go, Rav. Chabra is on the board.
trailing by two racks to one. Trying to do a lot with the cue ball. Just quite close to the rail. It's going to be in trouble here, I think, though. I wonder if he can just bend this round slightly with the rest, maybe. It's okay, is he? Yeah, good shot. to the side route, back over for the three into the same pocket. Nicely done, draw back for the four into the side, this is looking good. It's got the right side of the four ball. It's okay. A little bit thinner than he would have liked. Just avoid the eight ball and you're fine. Mayo Guard from Gujarat. Oh, what a nice stroke that was. Beautifully played. So this to open up a two-rack lead once again at 3-1. In it goes. Good stuff from the youngster. Seventy players started out in the, the girls and the boys junior tournaments. We're down to just two in the ladies. And we've got four possibilities of a champion still remaining in the under-21 male side. Still anyone's match. He's not really controlling the break, he's just giving them a just giving them a hit. Oh, and he's overcut that. on the stroke again. He's had a huge bit of luck there though. 
comes over and apologises, offers the hand to his opponent. Yeah, you might have seen that. Came across the ball slightly, put right hand spin on it, which is why it straightened up off of that rail. This is an aggressive shot. I like this. Open up the six. Just glance off the eight. Oh, he didn't have to. Perhaps the six goes in the side. So three, four, five. Back down here for the six. Still a bit of work to do. Key shot then coming up. Round the back of the nine. Across the table for the six into the side. He's played that very well. Something happened there in the in the audience. I'm not quite sure what happened. Clearly not very happy though. I've just been told by my colleague clean, sat pressing all the buttons, doing all the hard work. Easy for me, I just sit here talking, he's having to control lots of different things, cameras and all that kind of stuff. He's just told me that Mayer has actually had a 147 break on a lineup practice, so that's pretty good. Can obviously cue nicely. So this is a thin one, cue ball will be running wild. Undercut that by quite some way, and there's another scratch. And what another gift it is! He gifted the last one with ball in hand on the nine, and he's done it again. So what should have been four-one is now three-two. Huge swing. very happy with himself but you need to forget about that you can't do anything about it it's gone put all your effort into the next one don't waste any energy with negative thoughts about what's already gone think about that 147 you made So Mayor needs to he's just gone off the boil, a few mistakes coming in from Mayo in the last couple of racks. Needs to regain his composure. Big stage for these youngsters. He's gonna play a push out. Left 
a bit of a tempt up. Second semi final coming up straight after this will be between Suma Margo and Mahendra Chowen. That's coming up a little bit later. Oh, nice couple of kisses there. And you sense that it's just beginning to turn the other way this match. Something unusual, rather unusual, is going to happen. We've got a finalist from the Ladies Juniors Tournament who will be joining us in the booth, Natasha Chetton. Hey guys, very, very excited to be in the booth again. Again? Do you know what? I don't think ever before have I had a finalist who's, a, who's going to play, you know, not too far away. <laughs> want to come in the booth and talk. Fantastic. I like your style. <laughs> yes, you can say I never get tired of talking. <laughs> I thought you played rather well in your match. How did you think you played? I think I played okay. I fared well. Yeah. Just a couple of errors here and there. Not, yeah, not too many. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, very, played very well, I thought. Thank you very much. You'd like to take that form into the final, I'm sure. Hopefully, yes, absolutely. Who if knows? the result. <laughs> Who knows you could be, later on this evening, national champion of India. How good does that sound? I mean, hopefully. Um, uh, don't jinx it for me, Mark. <laughs> uh, no comments. <laughs> no, I hope you do well. I hope both of you play well and the best person wins. Yes, absolutely. So do you know either of these guys very well? Do you practice with them at all? Um, no, both of them are from, uh, one's from uh, Madhya Pradesh and the other's from Gujarat, which is uh, mainly in the middle and uh, northern part of India. I'm from Bangalore, which is in Karnataka, which is the southern part of India. But I have, uh, I have seen Mayur playing a bit in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, actually, uh, when we were there for the Under-21 World Championships. Yes, he was there as well, and he played, I think, in the under-17 category. He played pretty well. And it would be nice seeing one of these two heading into the finals. Yeah, I mean, he was 3-0 up, Mario, and then he, he, he scratched twice on, on the nine. I was watching, yeah. Crazy. It's unfortunate. Yeah. God of fighting back. I don't think we've seen a golden break yet, have we? Not one. Maybe you can do one in the final. <laughs> Hopefully, that'll be a nice way to finish. <laughs> <laughs> and yet another scratch off the break. Yeah. That's three now. Three out of three. And he's going ten. He's going for power rather than accuracy. How have you yeah. been breaking? I think I think uh, the wing ball is uh, has been getting in a few times, yeah. but but I think I, I need to get consistent on that. You know, when the wing goes in, it's a guaranteed second chance. It's a guaranteed. Uh, yeah. Maybe oh. my observation was maybe you were hitting them a little bit hard. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Just a fraction. I agree. I think that was a good. Is it a positional mistake if it's not on, but I think it is. Yeah, it's on. How does he get to the four ball? Run off the side rail, stun up for it. Yeah, stun up. Sure, I like yeah. that better. He's got an easy position in the five after. Shouldn't have any problem floating up from here. Nine's a bit tricky. So important, isn't it, though, Natasha, to make sure you're on the right side of the ball so exactly. that the next position is straightforward. Absolutely. I would say especially on the line, to, to try and make it as easy as you can. So that 
Yeah, love to get straight in on this eight after the seven. Anywhere near straight on this eight. Yeah. And the only ball you ever want to be straight on is the nine. <laughs> Absolutely. Just gonna have to go forward. A couple of smooth pots to clinch the frame. Oh, yeah, nice. That was really nice. I can see why he's made one four sevens now. Very nicely done. There you see the nice slow Smooth back shot. swing, Absolutely. pause, and then went right through the ball. Beautiful. Any aspiring youngsters, players? Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I think he's got a, a very smooth cue action. That helps. It's, uh, I would say it's, a, it's more of a snooker uh, cue action yeah. than the pool, which is, yeah. Yeah, and it, it, you know, I often get asked, is, is there any difference between pool technique and snooker technique? Technique-wise, no, I don't think there is. Of course, the patterns are different and Definitely. the shots that you leave yourself. Uh -huh. yeah, of you'd never leave yourself. Um, like a really sharp angle on the snooker table if you, exactly. if you can help it, but here... Because the pockets you know, are bigger and the balls are bigger. Yes, it does help leaving yourself with a uh, sharper angle. It's going neck to neck, Mayur and Gaurav. It's exciting, isn't it? Quiet. Do you reckon he'll heal? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I, I can't say just yet. <laughs> Have a guess. guy next to me gives me much more information he's going to start wanting a salary for being my researcher <laughs> he's just told me that Mayor's father is actually his coach as well must be tough having your father as a coach I'm sure but I think it also helps 24-7 Daddy's in the audience, you can't see him, he's just off camera guarding the cue case of his son. I'm sure he's feeling the pressure as well. As it must parent. be worse for the parent. How does your mum feel when she watches I, you play? I think um, she, she's a little more tense when I'm playing my snooker matches, but when it comes to the nine ball, she has absolutely no idea what's happening. <laughs> Probably she, the best, right? <laughs> oh, I'm very glad. <laughs> she doesn't know when you're playing a good shot or a bad absolutely shot. Absolutely, no. <laughs> In fact, a couple of times she's asked me, why did I win on the <laughs> because of a combo or something like that? Yeah. I've always thought the less parents know, the better. I cannot agree more. Kind of eases it off for the kids as well. I think there was a slight error from Mayur. Yeah, snooped it down here behind the eight and the nine. Yeah, that's a good shot. He just gets... That's a very good shot. So this is where jumping comes in. Absolutely. You didn't, you didn't have to jump today at all, I don't think so, no. I didn't you have an opportunity. You good position. <laughs> Thankfully, yes, though. I'm a great jumper yes, because my, my positional play is so bad, I'm always <laughs> hooking myself. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen uh, many of the boys jumping as well, which has been surprising. I don't, I don't think any of them own jump cues, you know. Oh, yeah, it's, that's possibly a reason as well, because it's not, not many of them. Oh, 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 dear. He scratched. That was wow. very unfortunate. That was an, could not have predicted that. Really nice shot, wasn't it? Now, they're talking about ways to maybe make snooker a little bit more entertaining i'm not saying it's not i believe it is but they're looking at ways maybe to bring it into the up to date you know maybe a little bit yeah. more entertaining how would you feel about including a jump shot in a, on a snooker table yeah. so <laughs> i'd like to see someone try that i mean i wouldn't know how it would work because uh, you know the balls are smaller and to get that much reaction on it i mean it would be fun for sure no doubt about it. The thing that worries me more about the jump shot on the snooker table is the difference in cloth. Absolutely. There's no use. nap on it. There's no nap on a pool. No, because it's like nylon and exactly. not man, not really man. Sorry, they are man-made fibres, whereas snooker cloth is made from wool, right? Exactly. And it's much more delicate. 
precisely. I feel like we'd be making uh, dents and scratches on the table. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, but but the, to a certain extent, I do think it's possible because of you know the greats like Jimmy White. I mean, the whirlwind was class. He could he could possibly get any reaction he wanted on the table. So I think it might make it more entertaining for sure, as long as you know. Even if they ripped the cloth, that'd be even more entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Like, we'll, like be, we'll be back in a couple of hours just while we recloth the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah, for sure, I think a couple of tournaments a year should include a few interesting rules. Like the shootout. The shootout yeah, is very say, interesting. Have you, you'd be good in that. Have you tried it? No, I haven't been invited yet. So whoever's right. watching, if, if you have any power, <laughs> we want an invitation for this young lady, <laughs> Natasha Chetton is her name. It's going neck to neck. Mark. I can't help thinking about my Indian friend, I don't know whether you know him or not. Do you know a guy called Chetan Chabra? Yes, in fact I do. Uh, we went to the UK Nine World Open last year. That's right, he was yes. there wasn't he? He was. He's my friend. We've played a lot together in Bangkok before. Oh really? And I'm sat here with you, your name is surname is Chetan. Yes. That's and the right. surname of the guy on there is Chabra. So yeah. I'm having a little I keep thinking of my friend <laughs> Chetan Chabra. <laughs> anyway, more useless information from me, Mark White. I'm joined by Natasha <laughs> Chetan. <laughs> and we'll be seeing her in the final later on. using the new town rack for the first time. It's called the Max Rack. Oh, beautiful. It's a good pot. Lovely cue action. His, his technique seems solid. His foundation is good. He needs a good shot from the two to the three ball. Solid, solid foundations oh, never crumble. Oh. That's your fault. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Mayud. <laughs> that was a wobbler. <laughs> Do you think he can see the ball? Rattled the jaws, didn't it? Yeah. Oh. I think he got away with that. Yeah, this has now turned into a race to three, this match. Shot. Bank. Oh. oh, I thought that would have dropped. Cloth is getting a little attempt. bit older, though. I think so, yes. Pockets turning up maybe just a little bit. Got up with a good chance to clinch the frame to head my use 5 4. I like it when you come in here because you make my job so easy. <laughs> Glad to be here, Mark. So five and six into the oh same. Oh, yeah. I wonder, did he just take his eye off that? I think so. so he took it for granted. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Looking where the white ball was going. Were you going to ask me a question? No, no. I was just oh. saying the same thing. And I think the snooker players, I, uh, you kind of do tend to think the pockets might be slightly bigger than they actually are. Take your eye off the ball a little bit. It's so not as easy as everyone thinks, is it, this game? They're big, but they're not that big. No. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a pool table. And the cushions will be as big as the pockets, and the pockets will be as big as the rails. That's what the kind of table I can play. I'd like to play on that, Mark. I think you should make that the standard table <laughs> in all events. <laughs> Makes the leg very important, doesn't it? <laughs> That it does. <laughs> Got up with another chance. I think Mayud has been slamming the balls in a bit, which is oh, well quite controlled. A Beautiful shot that was. And now all of a sudden he's going to lead for the first time in the match. And what a time to do it! He's pulling little, through when he needs it. Yeah, a little bit careless there. No problem uh -oh. though. Just about. <laughs> and 
And he does take the lead, 5-4 then. Suddenly he gets interesting now. Yeah, and very rightly so. Taking a little bit of a time out. Mayer just going to gather his thoughts. I think there's a lot of pressure on him now because he's leading. And now coming into the position of him trailing, I think that adds more pressure. Let me ask you a question. You often hear when players are maybe going through a little bit of a tough time out on the mm -hmm. table, yeah. they take a break, go to the bathroom, maybe some people splash some water in their face, some just give themselves a talking to in the mirror. Absolutely. What do you do? Um, it depends on how I'm feeling. If I go into the bathroom and I'm trailing in a match, I usually try and, you know, put positive talk and, you know, get a bit of that excess energy out, maybe just jump around a little, which is quite a sight really? to see, I should say. You know that's going to stay with you forever now, what you just said. You jump around. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful of the but digital Natasha footprint. Natasha jumping up and down in the bathroom, giving herself a good talking to. <laughs> no, the reason I ask it is because I was reading something recently about the effects of having a cold shower, mm -hmm. how it produces dopamine in the brain, which is a, right. a, a really, really good feeling. And they think that that's why some players in sports will go to the bathroom and splash water. Absolutely. Ice yeah. cold water on their face. Just, just channel that dopamine. So now you've got to jump up and down, talk to yourself and splash water on yourself. That's such a good time. routine. <laughs> I hope I often it doesn't come in. It's complicated. <laughs> the way to avoid that is just keep playing well on the table. Don't have any negative thoughts. Are you a pretty positive person? I would say so. Um, when I'm leading a special, very positive. <laughs> But, uh, that's yeah. easy. <laughs> that's very easy, but, but it matters when, when you're trailing and you need to channel in all the pos possible positive energy you can to keep yourself in the game. Because it really is never over until it's over. So, looking to get on the hill, Gaurav, in this particular rack, but. Mayo hasn't given up yet. Just playing a containing safety. What would you do here? I would play, uh, Go to the bathroom and splash water in your face and jump up and down. <laughs> <laughs> That's possibly what I would do, but uh, when you played a very good shot. I think you jump over this, but... I think they're choosing to go one cushion. It's not a bad shot. I don't think he has a very straightforward path to the to the green I mean to the three ball. Is it a race to six your final? I don't know yet. I think it's a race to five. Race to five, is it okay? Is there a gap? I don't think he can get to the potting angle. Maybe he can. Oh, he certainly could. I think he, he gave a bit of a uh, left hand side to help. Just bend it around slightly, help, the, I think help so. the one ball go. See, that's something that we don't do in snooker. You never try and spin a ball in, do you? Definitely because it doesn't not. work on a, yeah. on a snooker ball. <laughs> Pockets are too tight. Mm -hmm. But as Steve Davis used to say, I mean, it's a, a bit of helping side always helps. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> do you know, I actually saw Steve Davis play. It wasn't a jump shot, so to speak, but it was where he made a red and he couldn't. He wanted to get away from the pack of reds. So he jumped over the reds yeah. after making the red. I've seen that. Tremendous shot. I mean, he was the first man ever to do that. Now he's used quite a lot. I've seen yeah. Jump Chum do it and a few and of the a other few players. players. I think did it quite unintentionally, which, yeah. <laughs> which worked out for them, I would say. He's got a real good chance of clearing up the table now, and I think he needs it to level the scores with God of. A 
Well, I'm going to make a prediction. Hill, hill. Six, six. I think we should make it interesting and put a bit of money on it. I don't gamble. You're too young to gamble. <laughs> I do not condone gambling. I want that said. <laughs> Spoken like a true pool player. <laughs> I think I'm getting into the head of one. <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh, look at this for a lovely shot. Beautiful positional oh, shot. I love these shots now. Just smooth stroke, hold the cue ball, kill it dead. Oh, oh beautiful. A little bit of follow as well, a little stun run through. Absolutely. Gorgeous. You have to be queuing so well to play that shot. Beautiful. That's a lovely Good stuff. finish. He's on the hill. That he is. And it's nice to see Gaurav oh, no. appreciating yeah, is, yeah. a good a good rack. It's true sportsmanship, I would say. I'm sorry, it's a race to seven and it's not the hill. Have you, have you used that new rack yet, the town rack? Yes, yes I did. I think uh, in my match as well it was used. And it, uh, it, it's nice and compact, the rack, which helps. Yeah, it's very thin, right? Yeah, and, and it, like, unlike the magic rack, which sometimes you do, it tends to jump a little. Mm -hmm. This doesn't, which uh, I noticed. But it also slips when... Ah, when uh, yeah. 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 Slide. Yeah. But I don't think you can expect too much from a magic rack. But it, it's a lovely one. Another unorthodox uh, style of breaking from from uh, Goda. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you see too much of, you know, where, where he places the cue ball. I don't think you see that too much in the professional circuit. Yeah, I think. A lot of the players are watching how the guys are breaking on TV. But of course, we're not playing with nine on the spot, we're playing with one on the spot. And it's a completely different. I think he scratched. Is it a shirt foul? Oh, the black ball moved. The one to the two ball is a little tricky because of the, of the other balls. Zip. That was beautiful on the other side. Oh, what a gorgeous shot that was. Beautiful, the way the Absolutely. angle of that side route gave it all the speed it needed. Played to perfection. He needs a couple of simple positional shots to finish off the frame. Nice little stun past the four ball. Just a high ball on this one. Oh, he drew it off it. Nice. Perfect angle here, Natasha. Get back into the centre of the table-ish. Absolutely. He gave a bit of running side. So that he's uh, plumb on the green. And I think he's got some good angle to come, come back for the black. Really nice. It's a lovely shot. Bit of one pocket here, eight and nine into the same pocket. Just a, a little screw. Beautiful, huh? I think he's gaining the confidence now. I think the bathroom break helped. Yeah, maybe he splashed, <laughs> maybe he jumped up and down a little bit. I think so. I'd like he, to think so. He did a Natasha dance. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, reaching the hill first then, Mayo. He's back in lead. That water will taste a lot sweeter than it did a couple of racks ago. He went for a little bit of a, st a sticky patch, led 3-0, and then went down 5-4 at one stage. Gaurav has to buck up. 
and start showing some skill now. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> That's what my teachers used to say at school. You need to buck your ideas up. <laughs> Getting. Yeah, see, let's have a look at this, this break here from Maya. Let's see where he's breaking from. He needs to be breaking from close to the rail. That's okay. And now hit the one ball full in the face. A little bit of draw. Oh, the wing ball beautifully went in. The perfect break. He's, he's beautifully on the one. I think this, is a, this should be a run out. Yeah, look, he can hold for the three in the side. Four's in the middle of the table. I think that's the shot, actually, isn't it? This, this five ball, it's blocked into one pocket by the nine, it's blocked into the other by the eight. So he's got to get a good positional shot. He's left a bit too much angle on this as well. Can he hold it? Yes, of course you can. So, key shot coming up. Needs to play. Well, worst comes to the worst. He might even leave himself a 5-9 combo. What do you reckon he'll do? A 5-9 combo? Yeah, maybe. I think that's what he's going for. Yeah. Oh, I think he's got he's it in the side. The he's played for it in the side. Nice shot. Beautiful that's the only shot. pocket it went in. Terrific shot. Shot of the match so far. I think so. Got a, I mean, Mayur is getting a hold of the table now. Five balls away from a place in the final. I'm sure he's feeling it. He just has to. Don't think too much here. It's better going past the seven. Don't risk being too straight on this six. Leave yourself an angle. Just drop it in the middle. Run the ball through. That's perfect. perfect. He might have risked being hampered by the eight ball yeah. if he screwed the back. A good shot on the six to the seven. Always easier to judge the pace going forward than it is coming back. Absolutely. Especially in pool tables. Yes. Oh, that's just perfect. I just watched his backhand then. Absolutely. Beautiful. His technique is playing. It's a beautiful shot. So, eight and the nine into the same pocket. For a place in the finals. And it looks like he is going to do it. Seven, five, and in it goes. A round of applause from the crowd and a round of applause from Natasha as well in the booth. That was a lovely break and run. Who will join Mayor in the final? Will it be Sumer Margo or Mahendra Chauhan? Join us very, very soon, guys. Our second semi final will be coming up very, very soon. Natasha, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mark. Good luck in the final. Thank you. Say nice things, please. <laughs> I will.